I have quite a few cameras on the farm. But I don't have a PTZ camera until now! So first of all, what is a PTZ camera? PTZ, if you're American. Um, it stands for pan, tilt, zoom, which is what the camera can do. It can pan, it can tilt, and it can zoom. So that's why it's called PTZ. Um, they're often quite expensive because there's a lot of mechanics to move the camera, um, which is probably why I don't have one yet because I haven't found a really good use case that would warrant the cost. Um, they are handy though because you can move the camera in situ. So all the cameras I have are static. So you set them up, you point them at a certain you know area and that's it. Now some of them you can zoom in after the fact or you can do it, you know, you can configure it to be in a zoom state, but you can't move them other than that. So that's why these are so popular. If you really need something that can move, this is your baby. Um, yeah. So Zozi very kindly sent me this uh, brand of camera called Zozi, uh, which is the C296 PGZ5 megapixel camera. So this is a Wi-Fi enabled camera, hence the rabbit ears up here. Um, it is powered by a normal PowerPoint or uh, I believe there is a PoE version because this does have a RJ45 plug on it. In this case, for this camera, that's used instead of the Wi-Fi signal, you can plug it into your switch or whatever, but it will not power it. You still need the power plug. So that's okay. Um, this, um, you don't need an NVR network video recorder to use it, so it doesn't have to be hooked up to a hard drive. But if you do want to store the footage, you will need to put in an SD card in the bottom of it here, which is eh, somewhere, there it is, in there. So if you do want to do that, you can do that. Otherwise, it'll just be the live feed that you're getting. Um, this is $70 US on Amazon, which is cheap for a camera like this, that is very cheap. So we'll, we'll set it up and we'll see if it is worth the money as well. But $70 is a very good deal for a PGZ camera, if it works. I'm assuming it works. Um, all right, um, this runs on uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. That's always a caveat. So I will need to obviously configure my Wi-Fi again to turn off five gigahertz <laughs> so I can adopt it. Yeah, it's very light. I should say that it's very light. It doesn't feel, very heavy. Um, the bulk of it is obviously in here where the motor is, but the, the rest of it is very light. Um, so it feels a little bit flimsy, a little bit, but it might be all right. It should be okay. We'll see. Hmm. All right, let's install it. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. It'll be worth it. Okay, back to the video. So I'll install it right here above this gate um, because that's wood and it comes with this nice template that I can just put on here, drill the holes and screw it in the wall. Let's do that. It's an interesting system because you can't actually fit it behind there. No, it's still... What the hell? Oh yeah. Oh god. That sort of works. <laughs> actually, that's not bad. I went a lot of talk on that. I've got a longer one again. Ha! That hurt. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's getting two screws because as you might have noticed, I ended up with this <laughs> because you can't get to the screws to actually put them in the wall 
Um, so you need something that sort of, it's almost like surgery. So this kind of made it work. This enormous screwdriver, which all people have, of course, to install these cameras. Um, but anyway, it's got two screws in there. That's all it's getting for now. Let's plug it in, get the app running, and see how it works. All right, well, it's on. You can see it's spinning. Spin, spin, spin. So let's try and install the app for it and adopt it in. That's a lot of spinning. Um, <laughs> and um, we'll see what we can do. So I'm gonna search here for Zozi. Smart app for Android, yep. Zozi Smart, that's probably what it is. All right, Zozi Smart. Yeah, well, we're gonna register, obviously. I haven't got an account just yet. And I can't, oh, Australia, so it's not alphabetical. All right, I'll choose Australia. And then I get a code. I'm assuming to log in, log in. verify, okay. It's good. The password does not conform to the rules. Oh dear, and it doesn't tell me what the rules are. Um, okay, um, I, I don't know. I love the fact that it shows the password as well, but okay. Shorter one. The password does not conform to the rules, but what are the rules? That's frustrating. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Okay, so I chose a worse password and it worked just fine. Okay, now we can add a device. So let's try and add the camera. Add a device. A device, yeah, we don't have an access point. All right, we're gonna, oh, PTZ camera, it's right there. Very good, let's do that. Scan QR code. But, but, but it's, it's up there. What, where is the QR code? Oh, it's not. In a device you ID manually. So that would be the picture I've just taken because it wouldn't scan it because it didn't tell me. Anyway, um, it identified it correctly. So that seemed to work. It's a bit annoying I couldn't get to the QR code, but okay, fair enough. We're gonna call this PTZ Shed because that's where it is. Um, garden, sure. Add an unconnected device. Connect your phone to wireless network. Yep, that's it. Um, okay. Okay, connection indicator light is green. I don't know where that is. I don't know. Um, I did hear a tone when I started it. Aim the QR code towards the camera. Wireless configuration succeed. Hey! Okay, that worked, I think. Cool. Yep, I heard that. Oh, that's kind of neat. Why did I have to do the first thing then? Why did I have to scan the QR code? But yeah, okay, all right, fair enough. All right, so that's adding it now. The device is reporting to the server, please wait. So that's, I'm assuming that's adding it to the Zozi. Device connection failed. It should work up there. There's plenty of connection out here. There's an access point in front of me up there. There's one over there. There's one over there. Device connection failed. So I've skipped to success. Um, I now have the camera, or rather the camera, adopted and it is connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, the problem, and I had to use Zozi support with this, so thank you Zozi support, because that was actually really useful. Um, it turns out that the, just like the weird rules for the password for the account, um, it can't use my long IoT Wi-Fi SSID password. So in fact, now I am connecting this to a different hotspot on a device so that I can still use the IoT network, but with a shorter password. Yeah, so you might want to fix that because I just have a secure password. 32 characters, pretty standard, I think. Um, oh, it should at least support it. Anyway, it's now connected and we have access. So let's have a look what actually comes with the camera, right? 
Um, so let's, um, yes, first of all there's the screen here, the device screen, um, and you can see I have a camera and it has the time roughly on it, uh, it doesn't update in real time until I go into it, which is okay. Um, there's a bunch of features on that, uh, there's, which I'll get to in any way, uh, anyway. So down here, let's go through these. There's a calendar, so you can set up push notifications when you don't want them or when you do want them. You can see there's already some here after I've set it up. There is a media, so you can go in if you've recorded um, videos or pictures, they will be on the app, they go on the app, and you can use them there. And then there is uh, the shop, if you want to buy more stuff. So that's all there is. So let's go in and have a look at the camera. Tap on the camera, and we get this live view. It'll just connect, there we go. So now if I raise my hand here, you see that's my hand. Hello, you can just see the light there that's shining on me so you can see my face. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make it bigger, right? <clears throat> so here we are, so that is, um, and actually, for some reason it doesn't default to HD, so I have to press the little button every time, and now the resolution is actually HD, which is pretty good. So, so in here we have um, a full screen view, which is nice. Anyway, let me just go back to the format that you can see here that works. So in here there's a microphone, which means I can talk through the device, it has a speaker in it, so I can talk from here and you know say, get out, or hello, welcome, or whatever it is you want to say. Um, the next icon, the second one, is just taking a photo, so that'll just take a snapshot of that. Then there's the one which you probably guessed by now, is recording a video segment. So I can record this video segment here, I can raise my hand and go, hello, there's my hand again. And then I can stop that. So you can record videos because nothing spectacular. Uh, then there's the alarm button, you ready? Look up there. Woo! Anyway, turn that off. And then there is the PTZ part of it. Well, so I thought. Remember what I said at the start of the video, the PTZ is short for pan, tilt, zoom? Yeah, th this camera is more of a PT camera, um, and I'll show you. So I can, I can turn this camera, you can see it's turning up there, it's turning on the screen, it's all lovely. There's my Jeep, hi Jeep. I can turn it back again. Um, you can scroll down, you can see me. Hello, hello, hello. And I can scroll it back up again, etc. right? So it's panning and it's tilting. Great. Where's the zoom? There is no zoom. I can zoom in on the, on the phone, but it, that's not zooming the camera. I'm just zooming on the phone screen. It's not actually zooming the camera. Um, so yeah, that was a bit, I must admit, that was a bit disappointing. It doesn't actually do zoom. There's no zoom capability on that camera just pan and tilt. So bear that in mind if you do want it. Uh, these preset points are quite nice, so you can set a, a, a point you want it to go to, so I can press on that and then it'll just adjust to where that was, or I can adjust on that one and it'll turn over and it'll show the house over there. There's me, hello. So those are kind of nice. You know, you have four of those. So you just have preset, oh, there's a dog. Hi, Hunter. Huh? Um, so let's just go back to there as well. So that's the features of the camera. That's, that's what you can do. You can uh, talk through it, through the speaker. You can take a picture, take a video. You can set the alarm on, sure. And you can pan, pan and tilt it. So let's go into the settings, because there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, first of all, there's just the um, status connection, so it's online. Create a password if you want a password to get into the camera, I guess which I don't want to. You can share the device with someone else that has a Zozi account. Um, message settings, alert push interval. So how often do you want push notifications? That's quite handy, because if there's a lot of motion, you don't want it to beep all the time if you have those on. Smart detection. Would you like push notifications for smart detections? So that's motion detections and faces, and we'll get to that in a second. Actually, I don't want push notifications right now, because they come a bit a lot when I'm standing right here. Um, then we have the intelligent algorithms. This is kind of where it gets interesting. Um, so we're using motion detection, that's pretty common for a camera. We're using human detection, that's not unusual. But then there's intrusion detection, not support on this camera, but that could be handy. That's probably you need to have a, who knows what you need. Anyway, we can use face detection, area departure detection. We don't have that either, we probably need a sensor for that. Uh, audio anomaly detection. I'm assuming there's a loud bang or something, you'll get a notified. Uh, vehicle detection, which I'm using, so it'll, it'll know when there's vehicles rather than people. Uh, absence detection, gesture detection, pet detection, entry exit detection, 
um, cryo detection and loitering detection, and they're not supported. And I suspect, can I press on one of them? Not supported currently. I suspect they're either coming later or they will be part of the AI detection, which you will need to pay for. Right, so there's this AI detection feature. You get three months for free in a beta, um, but this will be a paid feature. So person recognition, vehicle recognition, pet recognition, package recognition, okay? I um, haven't tested that because I um, haven't signed up for the beta. Um, and then of course there's a privacy mask setting, that's pretty common, so that you can say this bit of the image I don't want to record, so you can put a black box over it. So in this case I would go, you know, there, I don't want this bit recorded, and it would just never record that bit, it would just be a black box. Which is neat if you have like a camera that's partly showing a bedroom or a, a bathroom or something else. Right, so you can block that out, that's good. Um, then we have uh, night vision mode, we'll get to that. Uh, when it gets dark, I'll show you that, how that works, or how good it is. Uh, time setting is just the time for the thing. Rotate mode, I didn't quite figure out that what is what that is. Rotate vertical, I think it's rotating the image, not the camera. Um, so you can rotate, you know, upside down, or flip it, or 180, so yeah. Because if I do vertical, and I go back, you can see here that the image goes upside down. Right. So I think that's what it is. I'm just gonna go to close, which I'm assuming is normal. Uh, recording mode, full-time recording. So I've put an SSD, SSD, I haven't put an SSD. I put an SD card in it. Um, and we can record that motion recording, full-time recording. So it'll have the recording on the camera as well. And then there is custom voice prompts. So you can have a, oh, that's upside down which is not supposed to be, anyway. You can set a reference line and when someone crosses it, you can say welcome or get out or whatever it is. Um, enter ringtone, leave ringtone, effective time. All right, so you can set up some sort of uh, audible, audible alert for people that are coming into it. So yeah, that's what that is about. Outdoor mode, I don't know what that means, but it is outdoor. And then we have cloud, which again, you need to pay for if you want cloud storage for the, um, for the camera. So if you don't want to have an SD card in or you want to store the footage in the cloud, you pay a, a fee for that with Zozi. Um, device transfer, give it to someone else, update it and reboot the device. So that's, that's what there is. Just one thing I, I missed here, uh, under the intelligent algorithm, whichever feature of that you want to use, say motion detection, you can set the detection area for that feature. So in this case, for the motion detection, you can color in the squares that you want to detect in the in the area. Um, so that's kind of neat. I mean, it does move, so I'm not sure how that works. Um, yeah, let's just try that. So if I move the camera here, let's move it over here, and then we want to do the motion detection. Do we get to the same thing? Detection area? Yeah. So, <laughs> so when you pan it, the detection area follows that. So it'll just, it's not adaptive, uh, but yeah, oh well. So for each of the features, you can set a motion detection area based on what your requirements are. Um, so that are, that's all the features of the camera. The quality of the image, which is important, is actually pretty good. Um, when you set it to HD, it's not bad. Um, so. It, 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 it is decent quality, but um, it's not zoom, I think is the main thing. So let's just have a look at what it looks like at night. All right, I have now turned off the sun so we can see the night vision image. So as you can see on the screen, this is usable. Like it's actually quite good. Um, it, it shows a fair amount of meters in front of me, which is, I don't know, 10 or in front of the camera. I'm guessing 10, 15 meters. The lights over the cottage sort of helps a little bit in making it look more illuminated. Um, but this is very usable. Um, I mean, you can get it as full screen as well, but then, yes, I see a full screen, but you just see it as even smaller because of the way it records the screen. But anyway, you can do full screen. <laughs> um, another feature it has is that you can put it as color footage. You get color footage at night because it has lights in it. So you ready? and the lights turn on. So that means when we don't go back, it is now in color. You can also have that as an event, so that if it detects motion, it'll turn the lights on and record in color. Um, I kind of like the night vision better um, in black and white because it looks more night vision to me. But 
up to you. Um, so yeah, it's very usable. Um, the infrared does work really well. And that's the last of the features that I wanted to show. So is the Zosi PT brackets Z camera worth the $70? It's decent, I think. I'm a bit disappointed about not actually being a PTZ camera, but a PT, but once you get over that, it, the camera quality is decent. It has a lot of features. Um, I must admit the setup process is an absolute pain. Um, that, that took me way too long. So um, that needs some work, but one, you only have to do that once. And using it uh, over the internet, the camera is just fine. It works on my phone. Um, yeah, the password thing is a bit annoying. Uh, I, you can't have a, I don't even know what password you can have. Password one, two, three for everyone is not ideal. Um, but even the night footage is okay. Um, I can see a wombat if it walks past. I can put the lights on though at night, as you saw. So there is that. But um, yeah, is it worth $70? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear your opinion on this. If you have one, have you used it more than I have? Because I only have the one, I only used it for a short while. Um, let me know. And if you do like this kind of content, um, raw, unfiltered installation and opinion, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you part of the community. But on that, I'll see you in the next video. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's just silly. Should I try and put in another one? Actually, I'll just kill the camera, but.